Welcome to my secret closet where I am wearing a dress that's historic. Why is it historic? Because it was made by Jonathan Logan. The first ladies ready to wear company to make a hundred million dollars. I think it was 1963. It was unheard of at the time. Oh, the first company to ever use a computer, a Univac computer, to sort orders. And on top of that, it's a beautiful dress. Jonathan Logan was in business for a long, long time, very fashion forward, and I just love this dress. It's taffeta, listen. It has a very distinctive sound, taffeta. It comes from the word tafta, which is a Persian word and it's been around obviously a long time. Uh, this was very popular for ball gowns. Some of the mistresses of the French kings wore taffeta. Smocking here. Again, those little details that you don't see on dresses today. So that's this wonderful dress. And this is another little piece that I think is dynamite. Late 50s, early 60s, again, the heyday of made in Hong Kong. And that was a status symbol back in the day. Hong Kong, um, sometimes you'll see labels that say made in British Hong Kong or Crown Colony Hong Kong. And that's because Hong Kong, since the 1800s, 1880s, I think, um, was given to the British. There was some unpleasantness with opium and uh, the Chinese said, go ahead, take the island. It became a real hub of manufacturing and the center of beautiful beadwork. This, my friend, was when sequins were really, really good. Beautiful, beautiful um, shell-colored, pink shell-colored sequins. And look at this great design, this circle and star design with the beads, the turquoise beads. I wish you could feel the weight of this because, <laughs> trust me, it's heavy, heavy, heavy. And it's throughout the back, it's the same design all the way on the back. So uh, make an entrance with this. Go out on a date in your taffeta dress. And I think you're going to be very, very happy. Oh, darling, you're home. Let me fix you a highball. I have a meatloaf in the oven.